What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here. I've got a package. It's a fairly small box, but uh, interesting stuff inside. So let's go ahead, let's try and open this. This is a pretty protected box too. Now, obviously by the title you can already tell what's inside, but you know, it's, it's cool. So uh, I got this on eBay. Might have overpaid, maybe just a little bit, but, you know, some of these are pretty cool, unique things that I hadn't seen before, so, uh, it was kind of a all-or-nothing deal, so, I took the risk, uh, and if not, then, uh, I have some cool stuff out of it, so, let's go ahead, and, Noah, you were right, they're keychains, so, let's go ahead and... I have lots and lots of keychains in here. All right, <laughs> that is all the keychains that I got. So obviously I got a lot of keychains, as you can see, um, each one of them relating to school buses in some way, shape or form. So let's go ahead and let's look at all of these keychains. There are a few duplicates in here, um, but most of them are just, uh, you know, different so uh anyways this first one uh is a chalks truck parts which is actually a dealership out of houston um so as you can see got a uh, international s1800 and i believe there's another one in here somewhere um so one duplicate but uh yeah so let's take a look at some other ones we got a thomas mvp er so nothing on the back of this one um this is a cool one though, so. Um, okay, here we got a different one. This is a, um, this is just an ER and not an MVP ER. So you can see that there's a slightly different marking on them. Um, so, yeah. Let's come over here. We got a Collins one and I had never seen uh, any type A keychains before. Uh, so there are a good amount of type A keychains in here. We've got, uh, these are all Collins branded as you can see, but a uh, little Collins E350 or 450 or something. Um, Noah, here you go. You'd like this one. Welcome aboard a new Wayne bus. This is a Wayne S1800, and if you look, you got a little wheelchair lift in the back. So, uh, Wayne wheeled vehicles, and it gives all the information. So, let's see what else we got. Here's just a standard, oh, this is actually a Laidlaw one. So, Laidlaw, unfortunately, turned into first student. Um... <laughs> But as you can see, this was meant as like a uh, a student keychain, just something for for younger students to put all their information on. So you can see the school bus number, name, address, you know, all that stuff. So uh, here we go. We got a Carpenter S eighteen hundred. So pretty basic one. Uh, XL door controls on a Thomas S eighteen hundred. So you can tell when most of these were made. Some of these are a little bit older with the. Uh, uh, S1800s, so, uh, cool. Uh, these are cool, too. Like I said, I hadn't really seen a whole lot of Type A's, um, so mid-bus, um, when I saw the mid-bus ones in there, I thought those were really unique. Uh, so we got a little mid-bus Chevy, um, of course, with more information on the back about how you can contact them and all that, uh, and I believe there's a handful of those in here. And, like, this one. This is another mid-bus same thing uh, another one of the carpenter ones basic uh, another Collins one let's take a look at this Wayne one uh, you can see the Wayne wheeled vehicles with the WWV logo um, with a Lifestar FE so this is really cool I have one kind of like this not exactly like it but um, this is definitely a really really cool one so uh, we've got another Lifestar FE, so uh, another Laidlaw one. Let's take a look at this one. Autojet Muffler Corp on a Thomas S1800 nationwide uh, and all of their information on the back. We've got another Midbus keychain, another Collins keychain. 
Delco Electronics Forewarn Forewarn Objecti Object Detection Systems. So uh, on a Thomas S1800. This is a lot smaller um, than the other ones that I've gotten. So as you can see, kind of size. So here we go. We got a Thomas 3800 with a Cummins on it, which I thought this one is really cool because, you know, Cummins international you know whatever uh cummins the best way to get to school nothing on the back but uh this is a really really unique one just because well like i said cummins didn't really you know do a whole lot with international but until recently so uh, another little collins one another midbus this is actually an older one um so as you can see this would have been in early 2000s and this would have been a uh early to late 90s uh, I don't really know what generation that one was I think it was uh, early 90s but uh, so again different but not too different only noticeable to those who are paying attention uh, here we go we got another mid bus Chevy uh, tiny little tiny tiny little laid law one uh, zip up for safety so that's cool this is a really neat one so, get noticed promotions, uh, supplier to NAPT, which is the National Association for People Transportation, so kind of, uh, it's interesting. All right, got another tiny little Laidlaw one, uh, Collins again. Let's take a look at this one. The key to reducing idle is epa.gov slash clean school bus turn it over is oh and it's a mirror so okay that's cool so the key to reduce idling is you that is that's pretty clever actually clever marketing i like that um we got another one of these as well so cool um chalks truck parts another uh like i said the houston dealer so See, we got a lot of these Thomas S1800s. We got Atlantic Express uh, Transportation, which was a New York transportation company uh, out of Staten Island, as you can see, very, very well known in the bus community uh, way back when. So, um, let's see, what else do we got? Another Collins one. Got a lot of these Collins one, and another Chalks one. Let's see. A midbus again one of these earlier ones as you can see this little part is torn off over here um, but that's not a big deal uh, another midbus Chevy cool uh, Collins there are a lot more Collins in here than I remember uh, yet another Collins let's take a look at this one we haven't seen this yet so superior vans manufactured by midbus uh, so what you may or may not know is that Superior uh, was bought out my bit bleh, Superior was bought out by Midbus, which was in turn bought out by Collins um, in the early 90s. So uh, this is this is really cool. So it says Midbus on the back, um, but you know it is technically a Superior. Uh, it's kind of like Crown by Carpenter, same idea. Superior by Midbus, I guess. So. Uh, this is an interesting one, a Ward keychain. So Ward turned into Amtram, which turned into International IC. Um, so this is a cool one. And as you can see, Amtran Genesis. Adam, hey. Um, so uh, out of Conway, Arkansas. So this is another cool one. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, the Forewarn with the Thomas S1800 again see Kennedy bus parts we haven't seen this one yet um, oh and this is on a carpenter as you can see uh, the doors give it away and then the little C logo up there so uh, that's pretty cool Let's see what else we got another Chevy mid bus uh, chalks truck parts again let's see Allison transmission on a Thomas s1800 yet again a different one um, so that's cool. Let's see more midbus ones. Let's see here we go. We got a TC two thousand FE that says Bluebird number one on the side, but obviously this is not 
Bluebird number one, and I assume that Colorado West Equipment or whatever um, is the dedicated Bluebird dealership up there. So, cool. Uh, Atlantic Express, another cool one, uh, just like the other one, obviously. Uh, getting down to the final ones, I said that I had a uh, a Wayne Lifestar FE um, one that was kind of like that. This is the one that I was talking about. I have another one of these somewhere. Um, welcome aboard a brand new Wayne bus. Um, Wayne wheeled vehicles. So this is a cool one, another good one to have. Uh, and fun fact, I actually kept uh, my my other one of this, uh, my other keychain like this on my keychain uh, pretty much for a year, my senior year of high school, so fun fact. Um, Midbus Chevy, cool. Newer Midbus Chevy, Carpenter S1800. Getting down to our final ones. Uh, another one of these Laidlaw ones, so cool. Uh, Chalks truck parts, again, cool. Uh, here we go. This is an interesting one. Uh, this is a Wayne bus set on a Chevy with a front lift. Um, so this is definitely the only one in here. Wayne wheeled vehicles yet again. Uh, so a lot of Wayne branded ones in here and a lot of mid... Th th there's a good variety in here of just unique ones that uh, you don't really see. And last but not least, we've got one of the newer Chevy... Uh, well, not newer in terms of today, but, um, you, you know what I mean compared to the other ones. So, uh, yeah, there are definitely a lot of really cool keychains in here. Uh, there's a good amount of duplicates in here, but you know what? That's cool too. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you're wondering where I got this from, I think I said at the beginning, but, uh, eBay, uh, might have overpaid just a little bit, but you know what? These are all unique, uh, and you know that I don't really collect anything with a bus on it. Oop, and I dropped one. But still cool, nonetheless. Um, and uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down and where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or you're going to get 10 times the amount of keychains sent to your door and they're not going to be bus ones. They're going to be some random thing. I don't know. Uh, make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom. Show it to your dad. Show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't get raped. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.